Did you get that? I, I think so. This one from like... Hey, hey everybody, it's Lauren Toyota of Hot For Food and today I'm super stoked, very excited because I'm showing you how to make mini vegan powdered donuts. <gasps> yes, just like the kind you get at the carnival or the fair in the summer, super tasty. Uh, very nostalgic for me and I'm sure for you as well. Um, thanks so much to T-Fowl for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video. It is the T-Fowl Easy Clean Fryer that I'm gonna show you how to use today so that you can deep fry these tasty little morsels at home. I just think having a fryer like this is essential if you're gonna be deep frying quite a bit and you wanna deep fry with ease. It keeps everything contained. You don't have to worry about the temperature or having an extra thermometer. It doesn't splash everywhere and it makes cleanup a breeze. Um, so particularly with the T-Fowl Easy Clean Fryer, it has an automatic oil filtration system that drains, filters, and stores the oil for future use, which means all the oil just automatically goes down into this bottom container, and you can use your oil multiple times, as I've mentioned in the past, and also in my cookbook, where I did use a fryer quite a bit. And we're gonna reuse this oil today. We're gonna start the process again and heat it up to about 365 Fahrenheit to make these mini powdered donuts today. So the first thing for the dough is non-dairy milk, and to this you're gonna add Add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Let that sit aside. Then mix together a flax egg, so you've got ground flax and water. Give it a stir and then set that aside as well and it will thicken in about 10 minutes. And now you want to properly measure two cups of all-purpose flour. So you're spooning flour into your measuring cup like this and then leveling it off before adding to the bowl. Now add some sugar, baking powder, sea salt, and cinnamon. Give this a quick whisk to combine it. So now with your thickened milk and vinegar mixture, you can add your flax egg, some vanilla extract, and two tablespoons of melted vegan butter. All right, make a little well in your dry ingredients here and pour the liquid stuff in. And now fold it together until it's pretty well combined. So, you're gonna get sort of a sticky ball of dough. Once you don't see any dry ingredients crumbling around, you're gonna turn this ball of dough over onto a floured surface. You're gonna need a good quarter of a cup of extra flour for this whole rolling out process. This dough is fairly sticky, but you're gonna just make sure it's coated in a bit of extra flour. Now don't overwork this too much. Just get it into a nice soft ball. Kind of pat it down with your hand. You're going for about an inch to an inch and a quarter thick. Make sure it doesn't stick. You don't need to roll it, you just kinda wanna pat it out. Then take a sort of a two inch cookie cutter and cut out as many circles as you can. Now remove all this excess. I'm gonna show you how to make the little hole in the middle. So a couple of things to keep in mind here. Because there's baking powder in this and it's activated right now, you don't want this dough sitting around for too long. You wanna be cutting out donuts, poking holes, throwing into the fryer and then continuing to cut out donuts and doing this sort of in a repetitive assembly line fashion. That way you're gonna get the freshest, sort of doughiest, puffiest donuts possible. So this is how I've decided to make the holes. I don't know if there's a more clever way. I think this is pretty clever. I have a chopstick. Dust it with flour, stick it down the center. Now it's not a huge hole. These are mini donuts, right? So I sort of like fling the donut around like this until there's a good size little hole in the center. I don't know if you, you won't really see it, but it will be visible once they cook. Now just set that aside. These are all gonna go in the fryer at once, and then we'll do a second batch. So stick the thing in like this, and then kind of fling it around to get an even hole in the center. The thing you just have to keep in mind when you're doing this is dusting the chopstick, because the dough is sticky, but it's manageable. I mean, I don't know how they do it at those food trucks, but this is my method. Wooden chopsticks are very handy for many things. So you just hook the basket on the side, place your donuts in the basket. So set the basket in the oil, place the lid on, and set the timer for five minutes. 
The other great thing about the T-File Easy Clean Fryer is that it has precise temperature control, as you saw on the dial, so it regulates the temperature throughout the frying process. That means you're not guessing, which can be dangerous, and also no oil is splashing around here. With one minute left, give the donuts a little flip with your chopstick to get the bottom the same color golden brown here. You can see they're nice and poofy. And then just let them fry another minute, minute and a half. And now you can lift the basket up and hook it again. Just let them sit there for a second while the excess oil drips back off. Then you can remove the donuts onto a wire rack over top of a baking sheet. So let the donuts sit for just a little bit. They will stay warm because they're very hot. You just fried them, but you don't want them too hot when you sugar them because then the sugar gets a little bit too sticky and wet, I find. So just let them sit for like, I don't know, five to 10 minutes here. They will remain warm. The temperature valve inside the fryer is gonna let the oil sit until it's safe to actually do the filtering and no other fryer on the market has the safety feature. So then it's gonna drain into this bottom compartment and then you're ready to store it for future use. I don't know about you, but this seems a little too easy. <laughs> We're almost done. Okay, so I have like a parchment paper um, bag. You could use a brown lunch bag. Very loud. Open it up. Dump your sugar in. All right, this is the fun part. Okay, like, if you're a savage like me, you would just eat them out of the bag. Guys. Okay, well. Hang on, I need to, tra I'm transporting back in time. I'm five years old. <laughs> I don't like roller coasters. So I eat donuts all day instead. <laughs> mm, oh my God. They're crunchy on the outside, moist and cakey on the inside. There's literally nothing better in life than this. How fun is this? You could give everyone their like own little bag of donuts. I mean, it's kind of a big bag, but. <laughs> mm, I think we're getting powder everywhere. Because this is hot for food, we have to do a little plating sequence, so stand by. How sexy are these mini vegan powder donuts? Mm, 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 mm. Make sure to check the link in the description below so you can get your own T-File Easy Clean Fryer as well as the recipe for these donuts on hotforfoodblog.com. All right, enough yakety yak. I would like to transport back in time to my childhood and eat these babies once again. <laughs> These are crazy. They're uncanny. In fact, they're better than the ones at the carnival because the ones at the carnival taste like, like they're really bad for you. These kind of don't really taste like they're bad for you. There's flax in them. Come on. Getting fiber. Mmm. <laughs> oh my God. Mmm. Now these have to be shared. I can't eat all these. That would be nuts. All right, thank you for watching, guys. Mm, follow me at Hot For Food. If you make these, share a photo, a video, a snap. We'd love to see it. Mm, and let me know what you think. Thumbs up to this video. Share it, subscribe. I'll be back next week. I'm here every Wednesday, cooking up vegan love. I'm Hot For Food and Hot For Donuts and all the things. Okay, bye.